last. We're gonna check out this brewery. I think it's a smaller one. It's like three beers on tap. We're still gonna check it out and see if it's any good. But it's the uh, um, first flight brewery. I couldn't remember. But anyways, let's check it out and see if it's any good. Okay, so I was wrong. There's five beers. One of these days I don't remember which, where the camera's at. So there's five beers. And the first one is a flying rooster. There's a rooster around here somewhere. Like actually just walking around, watching his buddies get eaten. Um, but it's a flying rooster white IPA. It's a special blend of traditional white IPA. Our brew master created a well-balanced wheat style pale ale with unique hoppy aromas and a clean, crisp finish. 6.1% ABV. Actually, that's not bad. I've been hit. I've been really missed with the uh, wheat beers I've been been having lately. But this is a nice combo of the wheat with a slight bitterness. It's, the bitterness is not that high. You know, it might be like a 30 IBU, but enough to kind of take your wheat add a little happiness to it. I think it needs the happiness because if it was just a straight wheat beer, it wouldn't be that great. It's just kind of missing that, um, really anything more than the orange peel. You get some orange peel. But that's it was kind of a bland wheat, but with the happiness actually safe. It makes it rather refreshing. So it's a nice, it's a nice combo, and surprising 6.1% ABV. Oh, we got little oyster crackers. Cleanse that palate. I like that. Yeah, there are two breweries here on Key West. There's a Florida Brew, uh, Florida Keys Brewing Company. And I think it's on my like, Key Largo. If I have time, I'm gonna check that out. Oh, well, there's the rooster over there. But um, okay, anyways, next one is Beach Day IPA. It's a pineapple passion fruit IPA. They call it a medium pale ale. It's grown as a tropical pineapple and passion fruit, an IPA that can stand up to our Maverick IPA while being light enough to enjoy on a sunny beach in Key West. ABV 6.0. 6 so, you know, pretty close to what the last one was. You definitely get that passion fruit. Much more than the pineapple. A little tart to it. Subtle bitterness. I would expect it to be more pineapple bitter, that piney bitter, but I'm not really getting that. They probably could have emphasized the pineapple with that kind of pineapple hop. But again, I think this this is a little more bitter than the last one. But it's still re refreshing. It's not that hot out today. It's like low 70s. It's like perfect weather. Low humidity, which is even more heat. But eh, not bad. It's kind of you get the passion fruit, a little hoppiness, and then. That's kind of it. I think somebody bit me though. I actually think there's a history behind this um, location. I'll try to pick that up. Okay, next one is Watermelon Waves. It's a watermelon I think. And, um, 
hectomy pattern here. Um, it's our specialty blend of unique malts and hops, infused with a with fresh watermelon, mild aromas of fresh watermelon with a clean hoppy finish, VD 6.1. I feel like they're probably using the same basic IPA and then cutting it with just a different, cutting it with a wheat, cutting it with an apple, cutting it with watermelon. That's what it seems like you're doing here. So same base, top layers are changing. This is one I think needs to be served colder to really get that watermelon taste. The watermelon, the taste is minimal usually. It's hard to get it without using like extracts and fake watermelon flavors. But there's, it's there. You, because the watermelon is more subtle, you get more of the happiness to it. And this does have that piney happiness to it. At least it's, it's more pronounced because the watermelon is less. So This one does have a bit more of a maltiness, I think, than the others. Although, they all mostly have the same mouth. Really clean. This one, the bitterness lingers more on the tip of my tongue. But, it's not a whole lot else going on. They're, they're very basic, but the flavors I think they want you to take out of it, it's easy to pull out. Like, it tastes like what it's telling you it's going to taste like. Which, there's an art in that. I did order a Bavarian pretzel. We're going to start doing like brewery pretzel reviews because that's key. Anyways, this one. Next one. It's a nuts and bolts peanut butter ale. It's a rich amber ale with aromas of roasted peanuts and chocolate milk. Awesome. No, no, it's fine. Awesome. Thank you. You have to check out the other video for this review. So, so yeah, watch the other, watch the first review for this bad boy. Anyways, peanut butter ale. I like that you know, a little break from the IPAs. It does taste like creamy peanut butter. Sweet cream, creamy peanut butter. It's definitely a sugary. Ooh, I like this one a lot. It is, yes. Awesome. Thank you. Great, thank you. Like, it, it tastes like it should be a stout. But it's light. It very much is like a peanut butter. I mean, it's, again, it's exactly what it says. It is. It's like if you took a peanut butter stout and just turned it into a brown ale. Fantastic. I like this one. Last one is the Czech engine pilsner. True medium body bohemian style, clear with light. Golden color. 
Sayaz hops. S A A Z hops offers some spicy notes with a creamy crisp finish. Nothing else has used the hop name. So I just caught me off guard. Yeah, that's a nice one. No skunk. No skunky taste to it. I'd say kind of a peppery, bit of citrus. I mean, it's a nice, it's, it's a nicely done bills right It's 4.9 percent ABV. Oh, and the peanut butter ale is five. I like this one. It's a nicely done bills. It's always good. Let's rate all five. Fifth. Fifth, I'm actually going to say, is the watermelon. It wasn't necessarily bad, it's just kind of, it felt a little. Eh. Fourth. I'm going to go with the uh, pineapple passion fruit. Basically, take out watermelon, insert pineapple passion fruit. <laughs> Actually, hold on that. No, I'm gonna do the white IPA. Flying used to white IPA as four. I like to use the wheat base, but number three, pineapple passion fruit has more flavor. Number two is the check engine. I liked I liked the name. I like the pills in I think it's well done. And number one is the nuts and bolts peanut butter. It's different from everything else they have. And it's actually really freaking good. Absolutely. If you only get one beer, get this one. Anyways, that's the review. I'm gonna get into this pretzel, so I'm sure I'll have more video after this. But also, watch the pretzel review.